Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I have a bunch of fabric, and I got it from, they call it, I guess, a Jovel wreath. Okay, my daughter Kara gave it to me. This isn't the same wreath, but just to give you an idea of what it did look like, and it was kind of tore apart, but I uns unassembled all of it, and Jovel means friendly in a good mood, full of happiness and joy. Okay, <laughs> I had to look the word up, that's just how I am. But I'm gonna take all this fabric, and I have these scissors, and I gotta tear them apart, okay? So I just gotta go in and snip where the fabric is, okay? Just do little snips here and there and tear it apart, okay? But what I wanted to show you also, we're going to be using my leftover seed packets I planted this year. I have a whole bunch of them, different kinds, and we're going to make pockets with them with the fabric in the back. So I figured that'd be a good way to use this fabric. So as you can see, I got the fabric that matches, you see that, the flowers that are on the seed packets, okay? And when I get all those tore apart, we're going to make pockets with them, beautiful beings. Okay, I have junk mail here, and I have different sizes. As you can see, and they're nice and thick, okay? But we're gonna take some scissors to them because they're glossy, and I'm gonna use paint and Hodge Bodge, and I might mix them together for texture, but this makes it so it will adhere to it. And some of the paint I'll be using is gloss paint. That's all I do. I'm going to paint them and I'm going to go by the colors of the flowers on the seed packets and I'm going to paint what colors are in there I like this one I'm going to paint an envelope for this one because it's bigger and plus the paint will cover up any words and pictures on the envelopes or on the junk mail and I got all kinds of colors this one I'm going to paint this color on separate ones, okay, and I got pinks, and I even got this one. So I went through my paint and I picked out paints that I thought matched the flowers on the seed packs. And now I'm gonna paint up all the junk mail with all the different colors to hide the words and the pictures. Then I'm gonna take this too, and I'm gonna go around every one of them because I don't like the square look corner puncher and I'm just gonna square them all okay before I paint them and then one more thing I want to show you they sat overnight so I took something heavy and put them on to flatten them down and now they're nice and flatter they're not completely flat but they're flatter than what they were beautiful beings now they look like beautiful cupcake holders, don't they? <laughs> okay, beautiful beings, I have some Mod Bodge gloss, but you can use Maddie. I'm just using this to get rid of it because I bought a whole big thing of it on accident. I'm just going to do this for texture. Let you see the texture. Now, I'm just going to add some colors. I'm trying to get the colors to blend in with this one. I already did this one. It's still wet. I blended all the colors in with this. Okay. I added white and that made that light color for like right here. I put the dark down first, then I put in white. And then I didn't have to add nothing else because it made that soft purple by itself, okay? Just so you know what I'm doing. But I do want some of the dark just a little bit. Working on these colors. I don't have this color in there. This color really didn't show up that good, so I'm just going to put one more black there because I want that color in there. Because 
because it matches this flower right here. I think it's pretty when you blend colors like this with paint. And it'll make a great backdrop for a pocket. I thought I'd stencil up some flowers with the same paint I used so it matches in case I wanted to use some of them in the pockets or somewhere in the pocket files. A little white on. Why am I putting it on a bank push? I get the sponge, put that down. And this should shape it better. And there you go. But as you can see, it works way better with a makeup sponge. Just in case you want to use up your extra paint. The envelope is beige, so I used beige paint to cover the words. Now I'm going to stencil two different colors on to the envelope, which we're going to make our pocket for our marigolds out of. That's all I'm going to do, and it's going to be the backdrop for this, okay? Now I'm going to do another one. Okay, I'm using this stencil, and I did purple. Now I'm going to do a darker pink to match the flowers. And this is for the Sweet Williams. This is just white, so I was thinking just a green. But I'm going to try to put a dark green on, but as light as I can get it. Because there's greenery, and this matches that greenery. Mountain forest. The sides weren't fully covered, so I just added some white because I knew it would turn it green for the edges. Just giving you different ideas, beautiful beings. And I probably will use the back to some of these seed packs. Not all of them, but some of them. Okay, and this one, I think I'm gonna just do these here and there. And I'm gonna do it with a light green. Okay. That looks like a flower. Let's do this one. And there you go. And I think I'll do the rest off camera. I don't think you want to watch me stencil all day. <laughs> okay, beautiful beings. First thing I want to tell you is I took some baby powder and I went like that with the brush all the way around all of them. They had either glossy paint, which this one does, and just because of the glue, if I put glue underneath, okay? If I put the Mod Podge underneath, okay? That way it won't stick, because they're really sticky if you don't do that. All right, now we're gonna disassemble this packet. This is the flap I cut off, and I'm gonna use the words on the back of the C pack. Here I'm showing you the colors of the flowers and what fabric I'm gonna to use to coordinate into it to match the flowers.
this is an old piece of book page I just tore the edges and curled them around and I'm gonna glue the back of the C pad on to this This is a piece of scrap from a die cut. When you cut the die cut out, this is left over and I like it and I'm gonna use it. You think beautiful beings? <laughs> I love it. But I'm gonna have to set something on it. Okay, beautiful beings, I wanted to give you a real close up. I think it turned out beautifully. And there you go. Okay, beautiful beings, now we're gonna do the convent garden flowers. And I'm going to cut the back off and cut the words that I want from the back and probably the map in the front I'll be cutting around that and then I'll probably glue my plan is to glue the words that I chose onto the paper bag enjoy beautiful beings Now I'm going around the seed pack with a golden chalk writer from Dollar Tree just to take away some of that blue. I did the same thing on the envelope. I crinkled up some paper bag and I glued it down and then I wrapped, tore it and then I wrapped it around the edges and I coffee stained the envelope.
Okay, now it's time to pull out the fabric. I'm going to use, I'm using two colors, green and a golden fabric. And this is the only golden fabric one I use. So if you see me cutting it off where I glued it down on the back later in the video, that's why I'm cutting some off the back where I glued it down because I ran out of fabric, beautiful beings. That's the only stuff I have in that color and I love it. It's like a golden mustard color. Now I want to make a little notepad for inside of this and I'm not sure if I'm going to glue it down on the back of this side or if I'm going to just put another pocket in the back for a tuck. I'm not sure yet but this is what our notebook is going to look like. Now I'm making a little pocket for it out of paper bag. So I'm layering it and then figured it wasn't going to be strong enough so I went and got a piece of cardboard. And then I crinkled up the top layer after I cut the heart out and I'm going to glue that down on top. I did not like the way it looked just like that, so I went and got a piece of burlap from a long time ago that I cut out with a heart puncher, and I'm going to glue that right in there. Okay, beautiful things. <laughs> I sewed around this. I should have done it before I put that down, but I got it. I just sewed here and there. I sewed the heart in, and I sewed this down. Just the pocket fits in there nicely. Okay. And that's what it looks like on the back. But what I want to do is I found some 
flowers that I want to glue down. So let's do that. These look antique-y. And then I put a button that has flowers in it because it looked the same color, antique-y. You know, it matches. So this is for the antique lovers that love old-fashioned look stuff. A lot of people don't, and some people do. Put that flower up a little. That, oh, I forgot. I was gonna. How much glue is on that side? About this side. I was gonna make it so they could pull it with that out of the pocket. They still can get it in the middle. that dries. I have the stamp here. The back. I'm going to stamp that here. I'm using the Stress Ink Black Suit. And just in case, I'm going to do this. not work. Dang it, now what? Because I was, that's why I was pushing on that side because of the wrinkly. I don't even think I could get it down. That's why I like clear stamps. I will try. I'm going to hold it and go like this. I mean, it, it's going to be aged right because it's supposed to look antique I don't like it bloom where you're you are planted I'll come up with something beautiful beings so I have this piece of scrap and I didn't think about it until after Could go on stitching. Okay, beautiful beings. See, and I forgot to sew this little pocket in. I'm gonna go around it with a gel pen and stitch it and make it look like it's got a single stitch all the way around it. Back to this. You can read it kind of if you can't, but. I'm going to put that right there in between the stitching and above the stitching. Okay. All right. And then when this is all nice and dry, and these are dry, I'll go back. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm going to zoom in on this one. I fixed it. <laughs> I went around with this first, and then I went around with a gel pen, a green gel pen. And this is a glitter marker. This is from Dollar Tree. This is from Walmart. Then I went around the heart with both the same colors. And you can read it now. And it looks war at the same time. Okay? So I'm going to give you a close up of both of them. Tells you all the information about our Covent Garden flowers. That's what it looks like. 
open this. You can flip either way you want. Keep your fin. And I just showed you the back. And I gave you a close up of this. But I'll do it again. Right side up. <laughs> there you go. On to part two, beautiful beings. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.